Battle of Nicopolis, 1396 AD, part two of two. The Ottomans confront Europe. Let's go. Hey guys, if you missed part one of this mini series, you can find it here. By September 12th, groups of peasants trickled into Nicopolis, fleeing from the several pillaged towns to the west in the despotate of Vidin. Right. Following close behind was the Crusader column. The main camp was established just east of the city, close to the Danube riverbank, with a separate camp for prisoners nearby. Mm, those captives they took Half from the last village. Half of the supply fleet followed close by, moving to blockade the port while the troops started deploying to encircle the city. Okay. The inhabitants were gripped with fear, but the commander ordered his well-drilled garrison to their stations on Come the walls. Come on, Dogan, what are you going to be able to do the for us here? The siege had begun. Going to be able to hold off for long? This video is sponsored by Guns of Glory. Until the great Bayazid, Bayazid, the first turns up. I'm sorry I'm butchering his name. It's the last part, I just can't Join get it. War between gun Over the next two weeks, the Christian siege of Nicopolis was ongoing. The well fortified city was largely impervious to direct assaults, mm -hmm. and the garrison determined it does look that like it's a strong fortified position, to be honest. Downstream, Venetian and Genoese ships appeared with additional men and supplies. After sailing for 12 days from the mouth of the Danube, moving into position to transfer the troops from the northern bank of the okay. river. So they can get some then, reinforcements. The sound of Hungarian riders drew Sigismund's attention. The king had sent 500 horsemen on an extensive reconnaissance mission over a hundred kilometers to the south. Mm. And the scouts reported that the Turks have gathered. Sigismund advised that a plan of action be discussed, but was forced to acquiesce to the Franco-Burgundian commanders who were unmoved by the reports. In oh my God, if I was Sigismund, I would be fuming. For you, man, these Bulgarian and Frank commanders need to start taking this shit seriously. Indeed, the Western Knights Bloody were French, the and as well would say. grizzled veterans of many battles who firmly believed in their superior fighting abilities, confident that they will fight and defeat the enemy should he appear. But reports of the Turkish presence alarmed Voivode Mircea and Lord Kusi, a veteran French noble. Okay. They assembled 500 knights and 500 mounted archers and rode out to sweep the southern outskirts of the city. Their hunch proved correct. Mm. An Ottoman messenger weaved his way across the land towards Nicopolis, sneaking past the Christian siege lines to deliver a message from Bayezid that said, Hold on bravely. I will not abandon you. I will be there. The inhabitants of Nicopolis rejoiced, cheering nice. and blowing horns throughout the day. Come on, Bayezid. Soon, You've got this. Mircea's and Kusi's scouting party spotted the forward elements of the Ottoman army. Seeing the smaller Valahian mounted contingent, the Turks galloped forward. With his horsemen, Mircea feigned retreat, signaling to the French to disperse and conceal themselves nice. before they were seen. As the Ottoman vanguard pursued the enemy, they were funneled through a narrow gap in the forest, eager to chase down the Valachian void. And they're just going to get pounced upon. And once they came in between Kusi's hidden contingent, the French lord Ooh. gave the signal. Alright, you gotta give it to him. This move by the French the was good. Delay, no quarter was given, with many in the Ottoman vanguard falling within mm -hmm. minutes, while the rest fled soon after. Mm. That was a tasty pincer move there. Nicopolis angered some of the prominent French knights, who believed this to be a ruse to force the Crusaders to loosen the siege and array for battle insisting that the sultan would not dare attack such a large concentrated force of christian so, knights 
Superior in equipment, training, and experience. Oh my Furthermore, god. Furthermore, French nobles threatened to cut off the ears of anyone who discussed rumors of Bayezid's approach. I oh my god, they're just so stuck up their own fucking ass. Honestly, it's like fucking. Oh my god. Just have someone yank it out, please. I swear all they can fucking smell with shit. Arguing that it could damage the morale of the Crusaders. No, you just need to be but smart the enough. Scouting party Idiots. Dispelled all doubts. Bayezid is coming. They are In coming. Frustration, King Sigismund demanded a war council. Come on, Sigismund. The meeting was a loud and shouty affair, but then Sigismund stood up. He suggested that the Valachian infantry should form the first line. Having experience in fighting the Turks, they would lead the attack and be tasked with dispersing or at least softening the first Ottoman line. Interesting. The elite French heavy cavalry would form the second line, waiting for the right time to rush in and punch through Bayezid's mm -hmm. ranks. Meanwhile, Hungarians and other allied contingents would support the attack and protect the flanks from the Sipahi cavalry attacks. Interesting. Knowing how the Turks fight, Mircea agreed that this was the right course of action. Nice. But the okay. plan faced stiff opposition. It makes sense Robert though, but the Franks just won their the own fucking were fame. Outraged. They were of the opinion that by yeah. being asked to take up the rear, dishonored them greatly, insisting they will lead the attack. Accusations were laid against Sigismund and Mircea that they wanted to steal all of the glory. Literally, John just of Nevea, fucking commander so of the snobby. Burgundian element, stood up and gave his support to the French nobles, convinced by their confidence. The matter was settled, and with the Ottoman army only hours away, it was time to array <laughs> for battle. As they deployed at daybreak, the Crusaders left a token force to continue the siege, before summarily executing the thousand or so prisoners taken at Rahovo, fearing a possible rescue attempt by the garrison in Nicopolis during the attack on Bayezid's position. What was the fucking point of taking them in the first place if he was just going to execute them? Like, if you were going to sell them and make some money, it's not a good thing. But I understand profits of war, you need to fund your war ambitions. But if you're executing, what was the fucking point? That actually really Neither got on my nerves. Don't know why. Numerical that really rubbed me up. On the Christian side, the heavily armoured French knights lined up in the front, with the Hungarians in the rear, Valachians on the left flank, and Transylvanian troops on the right. Bayezid, meanwhile, deployed a screen of a Kinji light cavalry in the front, with regular infantry mm -hmm. in the second line, and a contingent of around 1,000 elite Janissary infantry in the okay. rear, while the Rumelian and Anatolian Sipahi cavalry were on the flanks. Further back on the right and center were the elite Kapakulu Sipahis, the Ottoman version of heavy cavalry, mm -hmm. renowned for their discipline, though nice. less armored than the European knights of this period. Still. Further left, the Serbian knights, clad in advanced plate that armor, were the only I see. contingent in Bayezid's army that could face the French knights head on. Sigismund advised Nevers that his scouts will be returning soon with intelligence on the numbers and positioning mm -hmm. of enemy forces, asking that the attack be postponed for two hours. Nevers summoned a hasty council where the older, more experienced knights thought it wise to obey the wishes of the Hungarian king, while the younger yeah. hawks presumed that Sigismund wants the battle honors for himself at the same time accusing the older French knights that their advice didn't show wisdom, but fear. Oh, maybe it's just, maybe it's just because they're young. Maybe they're just being ambitious and hungry, hungry for glory because they're young. Maybe that's why I'm trying to give them some leeway for why they're being so fucking stupid. But. Maybe that's why they haven't got many accolades under themselves yet, so they want to prove themselves in battle. They think they're wiser, but they're just being idiots. You wait for more information. From there, the discussion rapidly devolved into a shouting match. Then, all of a sudden, a battle cry pierced the air. Forward! 
In the name of God. De Fucking ads. Has he seriously just taken it upon himself, shouted, and then going? Right, but none of the rest of the platoons or the squads, whatever you want to call them, none of the other infantrymen or cavalrymen or squads are ready. So you're going to start charging, but there's going to be no formation to this, no slow more march up. People are going to be wasting their energy trying to keep up with your pace. No one knows what they're doing. There's no battle formation. You're following no battle formation. You've just charged a fucking head. Oh my God, I would execute you on the spot if you was under me. The signal to support the French charge. The human. Since most of his troops composure. were infantry and couldn't keep pace, the Hungarian king kept his cavalry from charging That's it. in order to maintain a solid line. Yeah. Because the other ones are going to break formation. Of knights and their horses, fully armored, trotting forward in unison, must have been a terrifying. So it's just the knights. On Still though, such as Nicopolis, all those tiger tanks. <laughs> terrain didn't allow room for cavalry maneuvers beyond the flanks. Their shock charge was at its deadliest. Arrow volleys simply bounced off, and the Akinjis were only able to string a few shots. Before the violent mm. armored charge swept them aside. Those that faced the French charge directly suffered heavy casualties, but managed to retreat back towards the infantry line while the rest retreated towards the flanks. Soon, however, the knights encountered a line of sharpened stakes. Ah, uh, see? Drive into the breast see? Of the charging. Had I waited a few moments, you might have found out that information from Sigismund. But no. Horses. This slowed down the Crusader advance. As some of the knights had to maneuver their horses through the hedge of stakes, while others dismounted and continued the attack on foot. Up well, you're not any better now. You're on foot, are you? You fucking A plebs. Continuous rain of arrows did little against the thick armor, and the French soon reached the main enemy line. Yeah, but you're now slow. Straight away, Bayezid ordered the Sapahis on the flanks to join the fighting. There we go, Seeing you're about to get out flanks. The center began There's no more cavalry for your side, you're all on foot. Impact. In close combat, the regular Turkish infantry was getting slaughtered by the dismounted knights, whose armor seemed impervious. The elite Janissaries too could only fight on the back foot, overwhelmed by the number of knights facing them, although they started inflicting losses on the Christians. Nevertheless, they are doing well though, continued. I've got to give the fr even Franco was taken aback by the ferocity of the Crusader they do. assault. They're doing well. Despite half of them being on foot, the armoured knights drove off the Sapahi cavalry, mauling everything in front Ooh, of them. Ooh, nice. Bayezid ordered the remnants of his Akinjis, infantry and Sapahi cavalry to reform the line in order to slow down the incoming Hungarians. Who and they're also now possibly going to be encircled. At this point, some of the older French commanders wanted to stop the advance, mm -hmm. to consolidate the line and link up with Sigismund. But the young knights That's smart. urged the men on. Convinced that the battle was almost won, they were eager to continue forward in the hope of plundering the Ottoman camp. No, you're not. The Sultan <sighs> sent in the Kapakulu Sapahis, <sighs> realizing that the battle had reached a critical point. The elite Ottoman cavalry descended upon the Crusaders, gradually surrounding their position. Mm -hmm. In the desperate fight that ensued, John of Nevers, commander of the French contingent, was captured. This was Surprise a he wasn't killed. Morale, but nevertheless, the Crusaders fought on, staving off charge after charge of the elite Capaculu. Seeing John's banner falling, Sigismund ordered a full charge you have in a to. desperate attempt to establish contact with the knights in the vanguard. However, Valachian and Transylvanian troops withdrew, choosing to preserve their forces, apprehensive that a disaster has befallen them. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Now... Now, now, Wallachian troops and trans, for, trans, 
for you know the ones troops are just bits of pussies and backstabbers i do get it though they look they think that the the battle is going one way and they don't want to get caught up in it but but i do think they could have made a difference in this fight preserve their forces apprehensive that a disaster has befallen them. no i think they should have fought but here the battle was not over Upon dispersing the screen of Akinjis, the Hungarians fell upon the reformed but much nice. depleted Ottoman line. This is Sigmund's troops, on it? The Hungarians. Could not withstand the fresh troops and were nice. broken soon after. Sapahi cavalry pressed forward, desperate to stop Sigismund's advance. Akinjis launched another attack. Mm, they are doing the well. Though. The Hungarian king pushed on. Getting ever closer, it seemed that the tired Ottoman troops could not stop Sigismund. If he could link up with the knights in the front, the battle would be won. Mm. But then, Bayezid played his trump card, sending <sighs> the Serbian knights forward. That's Seeing it. that the overwhelmed Ottoman line could break at any moment, Stefan spurred his horse on, leading the charge towards the Hungarian flank. Mm. The shock of the charge was devastating. Serbian knights plowed These Serbian the enemy, knights are strong. Sigismund's right flank to collapse within minutes, stopping the Hungarian attack dead in its tracks. Soon, remnants of the line routed towards the safety of their fleet on the Danube. King Sigismund reportedly said, "We lost the battle by the pride and vanity of those French." Mm. Too much pride for the French, French soldiers kept and fighting, But their numbers slowly dwindled, and it was only a matter of time before their strength gave out. They're also encircled, they can't do nothing. The bulk of the Crusader troops were destroyed or captured. Yeah. 3,000 prisoners were brought before the Sultan and executed on the spot, as revenge for the massacre of 1,000 Ottoman prisoners prior to the battle, mm. while the rest were ransomed or enslaved. A small portion of the army, including Sigismund, escaped. Ottoman losses were also high, particularly in infantry, several thousand of which perished. But His Bayezid's victory slaughters. was complete. Memories of Nicopolis would discourage any Western European intervention against the Ottomans for centuries to come, while the Hungarians and Valachians continued the struggle along with remaining pockets of Greek resistance. May, the what if utter the, what? defeat of the Crusaders at Nicopolis ended any chance of rolling back the Ottoman tide in Europe, who maintained pressure on oh, Constantinople, this was a significant Balkans, victory for the Ottomans would go on to become a great threat to Central Europe. They were a great threat as well. Credit goes to our awesome patrons who make videos like this one possible. Consider joining them to support our work. Definitely interested in. So Bayezid, Bayezid, Bayezid was outraged upon discovering the mass execution of Turkish prisoners in the enemy camp. Co consequent I can't talk today. He ordered the execution of thousands of crusaders. The elite taken for ransom were generally well treated. Humbler prisoners spared of execution become slaves in the Ottoman state or were sold further east in Asia. Super, super interesting. What a great two-parter. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I am hope you're glad that I'm back to reacting. If you are, you know what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you in the next video.